Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is a breaking news update. Um, I just want to get this video out here as soon as possible. I am so happy about today. Honestly, this announcement is crazy. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Two haunted houses have been announced officially for Universal to open during daytime hours starting this Friday, September 18th for Universal Pass holders. And I believe this Saturday for everybody else. It's going to be insane, and I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. First maze, Universal Launchers, The Bride of Frankenstein Lives. This is the description. We belong dead. The last words of Frankenstein's monster on that fateful night when his bride rejected him. But his end was her beginning. Now the bride is stepping out of the shadows to bring him back. And there's nothing she won't do as she sharpens her billions by experimenting on unsuspecting victims. The mate will have her monster, and the monster his mate. That is going to be insane. I am so happy right now. Oh my gosh, I'm only filming this video within seconds after these announcements came out just so I can get this video out here today. Next up, Revenge of the Tooth Fairy. This one is going to be an original maze. The innocent traditions of the Tooth Fairy hide a darker ritual. All children must give up their baby teeth to the goblin isk tooth fairies or pay a gruesome price. Step into an old manor that has been overrun by yellow clawed fiends who extract teeth by force. It's an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. That's going to be a nice little twisted take on this classic fairy tale that I could definitely be seeing getting future or sequel mazes themed to other of those types of people, like, you know, Santa Claus, you know, all that other type of stuff. But, um, yeah, I'm just so excited for this, both of these mazes. It is going to be insane. There will be a virtual line offering for both of these mazes on the Universal app. And I just want to get this nice little quick video out there, they do state, though, it is recommended for ages 13 and up. No costume masks allowed, but they are allowing Halloween costumes throughout the entire park beginning this Friday. As well as trick-or-treating options for the younger kids, character interactions, and more. So this is going to be insane. We're going to be able to see the Bride of Frankenstein and the Tooth Fairy this year in their own haunted house. It's going to be curious how they're going to do it with, like, the socially distanced and masks and all that. But it's still going to be amazing and, you know, I'm very excited. Real quick question that I bet some of you guys are asking is, hey, do you guys expect these mazes to return next year? I 100% expect Bride of Frankenstein to return. Tooth Fairy? Maybe. It's an original, so it could have a little difference. Because, I don't know, it could be a little different. What I'm thinking is for Bride of Frankenstein, they're going to alter the story to maybe feature the Dracula Bride of Frankenstein, and they could maybe have maybe make it a sequel to this year's maze. Revenge of the Tooth Fairy, I think they could definitely make a different maze, because that's an original, so they can just switch it out. But yeah, this is going to be crazy. I bet um, these two mazes are going to go on for about a few weeks. And then they're going to have two more mazes go on. Which I'm guessing is going to be Beetlejuice and the Icons. But we don't know yet for 100%. I believe that this is supposed to go until November 1st. So I am excited. Let's now read the official description by Universal. It's time to start screaming with Findish Delight. Because you can still get your Fright Fix this weekend, and it's included with your daytime admission to Universal Studios Florida and Universal Island Adventure. There are two hard pounding haunted houses in Universal Studios, Revenge of the Tooth Fairy and Universal Monster. The Bride of Frankenstein lives, so you can get your scream on. You can take your kids trick-or-treating at Island's Adventure, plus you can also dress in costume throughout the resort to get in your sinister spirit of the season. So, apparently they've only said it is actually for this weekend, but they will definitely expand and have different maybe houses. Maybe they could have two different houses a weekend. Who knows? I'm so excited. The thing is, am I going to go this weekend? I do have passes and I am near it. I may make, may, may, I might make that trip, sorry. But, you know, I just, I don't, you know, we haven't been, I haven't, my family and I really haven't been in the park since. Shut down. And I know this is huge and this will definitely motivate me to want to go, but I just don't know how I feel about going in close little spaces with people popping in and out. But, you know. Definitely, I will definitely be doing a review if I end up going to these mazes. I am so excited. Oh my gosh. Even just to be able to get some form of HHN this year just to see it is so exciting. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you stay to the end, please remember to leave a last like and subscribe. Um, I did get this news first from HHN365, so huge shout out to you on Twitter. This is going to be insane. Oh my gosh. Okay. See you guys in the next video, which should be in two days. And... Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye.